Courtney. I'm hosting today's Dare to Go There on RazzmatazzTV.com. Um, we will get into the question. So you have to be honest. You cannot just give one word answers. So the first, <laughs> the first question is, do you like to have sex with the lights on or off? Why? I don't have no preference. Lights on, lights off. I ain't got no preference on that. Just getting it in. I think we've done both. We have. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Lights on, lights off. Especially when you with someone you love, it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm with, I'm with them. On or off, it just, you know, with somebody new, I want to see. And then it's fun. I know. You, know? you got to see what you're working with. Right. <laughs> It's fun, you know, to have the lights off and have to guess where everything is. It's an adventure. So. Okay. Um, next question. On the club dancing, if a girl dances extremely provocative, does that mean she's promiscuous? Ooh. Um, I'm going to say not necessarily. Um, just because she dances like that doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to always go there with whoever she's dancing with. I mean, she could be a dancer and she try to get a workout on. You never know. <laughs> I mean, if if female, just, if she out there on the dance floor dropping it like it's hot, you know, that don't, that don't, it don't mean, it don't mean she, you know, she, she, she a slut or anything like that. But is that, that what the man that she's dancing with is going to think? I, I can't get inside of every other man's What brain. would you think? What would I think? She's dropping it like it's hot with me. Right. I guess I should be happy with that at that time. <laughs> so, so what I think she was promiscuous? Yes. Uh, it's according to how, how she dancing, you know. If she trying too hard, I would think that she was, you know, just, yeah, if just she trying to be noticed. Hard, she might be. Yeah, just trying to be, you know. But if she just... What do you consider trying too hard? Have you ever seen, like, um... The girl is in the club and she's not really on cue with the music. I'm, I'm talking about, you know, an, another type of thing where she's not really on cue with the music. She just like, uh, she just like, just happy somebody dancing with her, you know? And she getting, she getting nasty, she getting on the floor, you know? She just trying to be noticed. And I, I wouldn't think she was promiscuous. I would think that she doesn't get any. But, you know, if she was, if she was doing it, you know, and, it looked like they was in the bedroom. I would think definitely, yeah. She looking for somebody Is to she take looking home for something tonight. <laughs> you know, it don't always have to be that way, but that would be my first assumption. I'm judgmental. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes, um, for real. The next question: Why is it? Imp why is it important? Well, why is it more important? I'm sorry. Why is it more important for women to have closure from a dissolved relationship than men? Ooh. When me and my wife was in marriage counseling, um, one of the things that uh, Reverend talked to us about was he was saying he was trying to, he was saying men are like CB scanners. They lock in on something and then that's it. Mm -hmm. He said women are like mosaics, which is like a, a, a bunch of different things all tied together. Women, He said women are more big picture type things. And I think personally it's because of that. You know, women are, are big picture type people and they looking at it in the big picture thing, in the big picture scheme thing. Whereas a man, all he think about is the next piece of ass he going to get. Personally, you know, that's how I feel about it. That's about, yeah, that's about the same thing. Women put more into relationships, I think. So when there's a breakup, and especially if they're not the ones doing the breaking up, mm -hmm. then they weren't ready to break up in the first place, so they have to finish it. Women have to finish. It has to be they, their finish of it for it to be finished, not just because he did it. That's not the same thing. Right. See, I don't know like that. Not all women are. Yeah. No, I wasn't saying I wasn't No, saying because I'm not are. like that. Some, but some women, a lot of women are. That's, what, that's the way most women react. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. I, I think, I think, I guess for other women,
Cause like for me, I'm more masculine. When it's over, it's over. I don't right. really need a reason. Right. You know, it's like okay, done. we done. But then that's why, you know, car windows get broken. You know, bricks get thrown. And <laughs> Man, get scrawled on the side of cars and... That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I've never done that. <laughs> I know I look guilty to the mind. Like, you know, you know. I have trouble with friends I mean, who've done it, and that's not. And that's not. That's not. That's not to say that some men don't take it hard. Cause like I know, like I used to work security at this place, and this dude came and scrawled all kind of stuff on the side of his girl ex girlfriend's car. But he did it in such a way that he was trying to make it seem like the guy who she was with now, his girlfriend did it. But you know, I was sitting right there on the camera, looking like, wow, mm. really. Wow. Yeah. But that's more so the exception than the norm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's an exception. <laughs> but like when you, when you get like like me, I don't know if you, cause me and her are a lot like. <laughs> but I don't know if you experienced this, but like I got guys that they come back to me for closure, and I'm like seriously, let yeah. it go, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let yeah. it go. So I mean, but it is the exception to the rule. But for women, I think it's cause we dream a lot. And we got this big fantasy mm -hmm. that relationship is supposed to be like this. Right, because when women get involved, it's not just, okay, I'm dating you right now. It's like, okay, is this somebody I could be married to? Is this somebody I can have kids with? Oh, and our kids it's, are going to look like this. Right. You know, and they write their name in full on some paper all day yes. long. Really? Yes, yes. My you name is... You do that. I, yeah, but that's why I like my name. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I mean, nine times I've out of ten. I've seen her do that. Nine times out of ten with a man, you know, it's like, hey, whatever. Yeah, the first time I see a man doodle our names together on a paper, I'm gone. <laughs> no, nope. you fantasize and I'm gone. <laughs> okay, the next question is Is it okay to spend your spouse's money without asking? <laughs> No, especially if your spouse is the one making the bulk of that money. No, it is not okay to spend it without asking. Now, $20 here, $25 there. Yeah, but just like grabbing the whole paycheck. She didn't give an amount. She said spend money. I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying. But she didn't give an amount. You making, you making exceptions to that. She said spend money, period. I spend your money. But I mean, you don't spend no huge amounts of my money you without me knowing. Spend it. <laughs> but I'm saying little amount, yeah. Big amount, no. How much of a big amount? Anything over like twenty five, thirty dollars? Wow. Yeah, my husband is cheap. I'm about to tell y'all. <laughs> I'm not cheap. It's, no, I'm not cheap. I don't have a lot of money to spend like that. He's frugal. So that's, um, that's not cheap. Even a, yeah. That's not cheap. <laughs> okay. That's not cheap. Cheap is dude on the game. He cheap. Because he making millions of dollars and trying to live like he make 300 a week. I would make, you know, in that area. And my bills, you know, I got to make enough. To, I got to make enough to cover the. I got to. I'm the man of the house. It's my responsibility to make sure the bills get paid. Right. That's my responsibility. So if, and I know other people who've been in situations where their wife was spending the extra money and they didn't know about it and then they went to go pay a bill and then money ain't there to pay a bill, then it's a big fight at the house. See, that's something, we don't fight about money at our house. We don't, because we got a good, <laughs> we got good rapport about the money at our house, so. Okay. You know. I'm not married, but as a single person, or the way this is my idea of marriage, because I've never been married, I, I think that if there's a a spouse that makes the most money or all of the money, that the one that doesn't should have a spending mm -hmm. account. And it should be money put in there for them to spend the way they feel pleased. And if they both make your money, I mean, you got to just come to some conclusions, but... I don't think that okay. each transaction should be monitored. Right. Each transaction shouldn't be monitored. Because even when they were talking, all of her transactions were not monitored, even though he the sole breadwinner. I, I just think that's healthy. It's unhealthy for somebody to scrutinize. Where you eat lunch at? You had McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> 
It wasn't in the budget this week. McDonald's was not in the budget. You should have fixed them nachos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, that's just my... Okay, now we're going into our hot seat segment where each contestant picks a number 1 through 10 and that would basically determine whether you're in the hot seat. And in the hot seat, each guest asks you a question. So, each of you pick a number 1 through 10. 10. 5. 8. You're in the hot seat. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please raise your right hand. You have to promise to dare to go there and tell nothing but the truth. Yeah. So you promise? I promise. Okay. So each yes. guest ask her a question and you have to tell the truth. You just promise. <laughs> right. Okay, I wanna be first. Seeing that we are so much alike, <laughs> I got a big question for you. What do you think, or what do, what would you say is your key to a successful marriage? What is the key to a successful marriage? As a woman. That's got a couple answers. The first thing is, <laughs> you know, people, and people say this a lot, but honesty is one of those things, you know, when your mate is getting on your nerves, you need to tell your mate they're getting on your nerves. Otherwise, it's going to build up, and then you're going to blow up, and then it's going to be ugly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, another thing that you have to learn how to do, and it's hard for me to learn how to do because I have only child syndrome, mm -hmm. is compromise. <laughs> so you have to think about that. And then sometimes, I, I had to teach my husband this. Sometimes you have to win regardless, you know, regardless of how you got to where you win, especially if you know you're right. You know, just because it pisses the other person off. Okay, I still got my way. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I get that. Are we at a better place now in our marriage than we were? Than we were as compared to when? Mm -hmm. Five years ago. Oh, most definitely. Okay. <laughs> and why do you say that? Okay. Well, let's see. Five years ago, that would be 2007. We argued a lot. Um, he didn't like for me to go places. And that mm -hmm. kind of ticked me off because I used to hang out a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, we are. We trust each other more now than we mm -hmm. did before. Okay. Okay, hot seat number two person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Go ahead. You're next. I'm next? <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. you, were up. you were closer than anybody else. You were closer, you were closer to, the, to the eight. <laughs> okay. You have to promise to dare to go there and tell nothing but the truth and the truth only. Do you promise? I promise. Okay. Don't break promises. <laughs> okay. You can ask her a question first. When you was out <laughs> on the road, you left long hair. You came back, hair cut short. I need to know, did you switch teams <laughs> while you was out on the road? Because I think you did. No. No. Oh. Okay, so the answer to the question is that, that why I cut my hair off is the underlying question. I cut my hair off in an attempt. I was in a very male-dominated world, and, and there were not many women out there. And they were attracted to anything. Mm. So long hair was just like, it was like a aphrodisiac for them. So I cut it. Cut a few of them off. Thought I would cut more off. Didn't cut a whole bunch of people off. They didn't care. I had boobies, you know. So it, it just really didn't matter, and um, and it was just my attempt, my feeble attempt. And right after that, I let it grow back. But I got addicted to the haircut, so no. it's a little simple to keep. So, okay. <laughs> you know. Okay, I guess I'll keep it clean for you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm being modest today. This is my modesty day. What is your deepest desire in life? Ooh. 
my deepest desire. Wow. Like, can you kind of like what's the thing generalize that, that? What is the thing that you want the most in the world that you would give up anything to get? Oh goodness. Um, to just be self sufficient and at peace. Why? I, why? Why would I want to be at peace? <laughs> be self sufficient. Self sufficient? Well, I'm single. So, you know, I want to get married and everything, but that's not. I'm not thinking about what I don't have. I'm thinking about what I do. Right now, I can take care of myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking if, you know, I can get, because I got a kid where I'm sufficient and I can take care of myself, that would be a very great place for me right now. You know, if that comes through marriage, so be it. Okay. So, that's it. am I through being hot? Yes. <laughs> yes. No, you're always hot. <laughs> <laughs> do you promise to dare to go there and tell the truth and nothing but the truth? What it is. I promise? I promise. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, wow. Why? That's not even cute. Sit up. Oh. You can start your question. Oh, I get to start first. Okay. Can his wife start? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, because I don't know what to ask him. Is there anything about you that I don't know? Oh, wow. Ooh. You gotta tell the truth, you promise. <laughs> anything about me that you don't know? Uh. Any extra females floating out there? Any extra babies that I don't know about? No extra females, no extra babies. There's extra babies out there. I don't know nothing about them. And they are they at least eight years old. Um I like I like I like uh you know I like white people music. No, I don't think there's anything about me that you don't know. Okay. My question is um curious about this. How did you two first meet? <laughs> I was trolling the page. I was trolling through different pages. Trolling? On Black Planet. A troll experiment. Wow. On BlackPlanet.com and I ran across a page of a light-skinned, thick sister with twisties in her hair who had an e who had Eastern Star stuff on her page. And I said, you know, just saying hello to a sister. And that's how we met. We met on BlackPlanet.com. Easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh, take, take, take it all, but you never give.